So uh, when I met this uh, training four and a half years ago, I, um, I was really confused in terms of trying so hard to understand what I'm thinking, trying to understand my thoughts and why I had them. The same with the emotions just was so exhausted of, of blaming myself for basically being who I am. So much self-blame and, and it was just, I just realized that it couldn't be like this to be a human being. It seemed so a waste of time to just live like that. And uh, somehow I, I knew that this couldn't co continue, but I, I didn't have a clue on, on how to, to change, first of all, the relationship to myself. So when I met this training, for sure that was the, f the first relationship that got completely clarified, I would say, and empowered. And that was through this one single instruction that we give in this training for short moments, relying on open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So that means that in this training you are introduced to something about yourself that is always stable. Always stable and always turned on. Like an opening intelligence that doesn't have a beginning or end. It's an instinctive knowing of how to completely empower yourself and others in every moment. So I realized that, wow, I have a choice. I didn't know I had that choice to tap into and rely on that intelligence or ignoring it. And I came to see that I had actually ignored this wisdom, this intelligence that was always present, always with me my whole life. But I had ignored it because I, no one really pointed it to me. So that was what happened here in this training. I was pointed to it, to recognize it, not to gain it or achieve it or try hard, you know, effort now is a new thing I have to learn, no. It was a gentle reminder to check with, within my experience, with myself, in my daily life, if there was something about me that couldn't care less which thoughts and emotions I was experiencing or what other people were thinking about me right now. It was not even occupied with that. And when I tested those short moments, I felt immediate relief because it was safe. I, I felt there was nothing more to do with my thoughts and emotions. They could just be as they are. So that's what it means. You don't need to do anything about it. Not even letting it go. It's an effort to try to push things away and just letting it go. You know, even that is an effort. So in my direct experience of a short moment, letting it be as it is, it really means that I I am fully alive while experiencing it because I have no hesitation, no resistance, no fears or even a fearlessness within fears to just let it be as it is. And that's the only way you can discover your true beneficial power, your true power to act, to know what to say and do in a situation, including situations where you know, there could be violence, someone could treat you really badly. For sure, I, I, I wouldn't just, you know, hands up and hit me more. No way. But it's only by, in those situations, remembering the short moments, and you will see for yourself what a great capacity you have to really discern and decide what is the most benefit to do in that situation. And I have even asked myself that question and I see it immediately what to do because I then move instinctively beyond that little world of mine where everything was about micromanaging what I'm thinking and feeling and you know all of this micromanagement 
in a short moment I have immediate access to all knowledge, to this opening intelligence that knows everything beyond past, present and future. So it's like being on the top of the mountain, you take a short moment, you have the complete view of all the valleys, of all the paths up to the valley, you, you know exactly the whole picture in that moment. If you decide to go back to the old way of living, it is as if you're collapsing into a valley, <coughs> into your particular thought, emotion, whatever it is, in this training we simply call it data or data streams, so you select a certain data stream, you jump into a valley and you make decisions while being in that valley and all you can see is the darkness of that narrow valley. You don't have the perspective of what is of most benefit to all, which is innate if you decide to not ignore it. You decide to take a short moment and you are up on the mountaintop directly, immediately. And then you collapse into the descriptions of a data stream again and so it goes. So we commit to the short moments to test and we find for ourselves that we are more and more on that mountaintop and less and less in that valley. So in my experience it's that I see that all the data streams are simply natural expressions of who I am. Therefore there is no problem to leave it as it is. I can think and feel whatever, I don't need to judge that, I don't need to describe it, I don't need to compare it, nothing, no, nothing is needed to be done with it. That is truly leaving it as it is. And I have discovered then that I am so intimate with myself. It's the ultimate intimate relationship. When you allow yourself for those short moments to really do that. not only listening to me, sharing about it, but actually do it right now and for the rest of the day, testing it whenever you remember. And that's how we gain assurance that there is something about us, non, not only about certain people, but about you that is always stable. And you start to see then that all those data streams, the natural expressions of who you are, is this intelligence, this opening intelligence, just expressing itself freely, naturally, and you don't need to go in there and try to do anything with it. So you come to see that all the data is inseparable from open intelligence, it is opening it intelligence expressing itself. So it's like you could never ever separate the color blue from the sky. It's not possible. So to try the old way of living human life, to try to separate and isolate yourself into descriptions of data, is painful. I was so tired of it. I saw it didn't lead to the exaltation of myself. It didn't lead to me being able to contribute to a better world. It was really a dead-end road. So when we test and see that all these data streams actually have the power in, of, as and through themselves to self-release, to come and go in their complete natural pace, then we instinctively realize that we are safe within all experiences and we don't need to do anything about it. Maybe we don't think so, we have maybe a mental idea about it, that we, we need to do something, but no. Every thought, every emotion, appear, stay for a while and vanish without leaving a train, trace. Just like a line drawn in water. There is no trace. One thought after the other, one emotion after the other. Just like the mist evaporating in the air, it doesn't need to effort to do that, it just happens. That's who you are. So now we can go and enjoy our life. 
you know, we don't need to work hard on that. And then we can really come to see what is our true gifts, strengths and talents. What is our uniqueness? What is it that we really would like to, to contribute with? And I can only share my own experience. I had no clue on how to discover that when I was so busy in feeling sorry for myself, being afraid of what other people would think about me, fear of rejections, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was a full occupation for me. How could I even think about what was my special gifts that I wanted to contribute to, to my family, to friends, to the world? I was, I was just so busy. So you can trust that this is innate. When we give up the right to be a victim of our circumstances, of other people, of our own data. It's a powerful commitment to give up that right, but that's the best you can do to yourself and others. So I've seen in all relating, in all relating, if you take a short moment and you have the power, you are empowered to leave yourself as you are, immediately you transmit that opportunity to the other person as well. That's the greatest gift you can give another person. It is to leave the other person as he or she is. And then take act actions, because it doesn't mean that you don't say anything. You can leave the other person as it is, and then take, take direct actions. Free of fears. So I, I used to work in um, a big international organization before, working for world peace, working for eradicating poverty and hunger in the world. And of course, I have so many ideas that I learned in how we could really change the world because it's unfair. <laughs> we all know that it's unfair, but how would we like to solve it? Would we like to go on the same old way where all people trying to do this are actually just having a full occupation with micromanaging their own thoughts and emotions and then trying to make something out of it? It's just waste of money, time, resources. It, it wouldn't work. So I have really seen through my own experience that it can only happen through a grassroots movement where we exemplify what peace is. Not by words, we exemplify what peace is in a complete harmony with yourself and all your data, all of it. And it takes some time to settle in. We need some time to settle in, for sure, to clarify all of our experience so we can truly know what peace is. And I, I know that just by looking at all of you, I know what we could do together, just us in this room. So it's, it's so beautiful that we all take some time now to prioritize this education in the nature of mind, this education in the nature of your intelligence, that is the universal intelligence of a human being that is not disturbed by your learned habits. So in this training, we call it the four mainstays. That's where you educate yourself and you take some time, you take some resources, you take some energy into that. You invest in this education. It's an investment plan for life. So these four mainstays, as this education is called in Balanced View, is that we all have this instruction of short moments to test, to practice repeatedly. Repetition is gold, it's crucial. We have repeated the belief system of thinking that we are only that thought, we are only that emotion, we are only that data. So many times we have repeated that. So now we are repeating for each datum we take a short moment with to opening it up beyond the self-limiting idea that this is something you have to battle with. When you take a short moment, you let it be as it is and you move on. 
and you have three other mainstays to support you to really remember that and do that and that is to come to trainings online face to face repeat this you receive this amazing text that only show you that and nothing else you receive this text these pure words that has no pointing to you as an individual being separate And we have all this media on the website, so I, I know that most of you are testing this right now and listening to talks and, and I would just say continue with that. I'm, I'm enjoying that so much, I, I never get tired of it. And you can do it inseparably, you know, you can do it while, you know, cooking and driving or walking or whatever you do, you listen to talks and it's just such a great way to be introduced to who you truly are as a human being. Not because other people tell you, but it evokes that instinctive recognition in yourself. And then everyone has a trainer. So in this education, we both have a standardized and a customized uh, education where you really get the support to never be fooled by any data streams anymore. Where you get that natural confidence and courage to go beyond it. And lastly, we are the community together, global community, local co community. We, we are happy to, to help you to be in touch with community members where you live. And, and it's just amazing to see that the project where I, I really thought I was alone with, with, with me renovating myself, it was really, really lonely, hard, frustrating, boring and now to see that we are really doing this together <coughs> in a community where the only thing we want for each other is pure exaltation. No more the game of gossiping, putting people down because that was the only way we could feel good ourselves, no more. Only how can I help you to flourish in your life? How can I help you to live the best life ever? I am so grateful that I can use my time and energy and resources to support other people and no longer using it in renovation object strategies on myself. You know, I, it's just... I'm so happy I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs>